The 2014 secondary school leaving examination results are out and the figures show that of the 257 students who sat the exams, 224 were successful. Education and Culture Minister Myron Walwyn announced the results by way of a ministerial statement in the House of Assembly on June 13th. Students from both private and public schools sat the exams. I am pleased to inform this Honorable House that these students form the first cohort of students who were assessed and evaluated under the new grading scheme, which was implemented in the 2012-2013 academic school year. You will recall, Madam Speaker, my asking for the department to implement a new grading scheme where A plus moved from 85, where it was before 85 to 100, to 90 to 100. A in the old scheme was 75 to 84, and it's now 85 to 89. And a B was moved from 65 to, 7, 65 to 69 to 70 to 74. Across the territory, Madam Speaker, three, three students have achieved high honors. 55 students honors and 224 students passes. This means that 22.57% of the graduates have received honors. At the Elmostot High School, 180 students sat the examinations and 153 were successful. This represents a pass rate of 85%. There are 88 passes with grade one certificates, 51 passes with grade two certificates, 14 passes with grade three certificates, and 27 students were unsuccessful. At the Brigada Flax Educational Center on Virgin Gorda, 34 students sat the exams and 31 were successful. This represents a pass rate of 91.18%. There are 25 passes with grade one certificates, four passes with grade two certificates, two passes with grade three certificates, and three students were unsuccessful. At the Claudia Creaky Educational Center on Anigada, five students sat the exams and three were successful. This represents a pass rate of 60%. They'll receive grade one certificates. Regarding our private schools, Madam Speaker, at the Seventh-day Adventist School, all 18 students were successful and will be receiving grade one certificates. And at St. George's Secondary, Madam Speaker, 19 students sat the exams and 18 of them were successful and will be receiving grade one certificates. One student was unsuccessful. Throughout the territory, of the 40 students who qualified to take supplementary exams, 15 were successful. Eight students did not qualify to take any supplemental exams. The Education Minister says he hopes this year's school leaving results are indicative of the upcoming CXC CSEC examination results because all students this year sat at least one CSEC examination. I would like to congratulate this year's top two students who are both from the Elmo Stout High School. At this time, Madam Speaker, I will withhold the names as I would hate to steal the joy of those students by announcing their achievements before they are aware. What I will disclose though, Madam Speaker, is that they are both female students with GPAs of 4.167 and 4.166, respectively. That there are two male students in the top, in the territory's top 10. One from the Elmo Stout High School and the other from the BVI Seventh-day Adventist School. Their GPAs are 3.922 and 3.912, respectively. I do hope, Madam Speaker, that these results are indicative of the upcoming CXC CSEC examination results, as all of our students this year sat at least one CSEC examination. Madam Speaker, I eagerly await those results. At the end of the 2012 to 2013 academic school year, a new program was implemented for those students who were unsuccessful in English and or mathematics, and they were allowed to attend the alternative secondary education program for a period of six months to receive instruction in those subjects. At the end of those six months, they were allowed to resit the National Secondary School leaving examinations in the particular subject, and if successful, they will receive their certificate this year. Secondary school graduates are now required to pass a minimum of five CXC CSEC subjects to qualify for government scholarships.